So I, um, I think Mike brings a, a unique um, aspect to, um, to to his uh, to his mental to his his mental toughness and you know, how he has to be able to to um, to mentally prepare um, just because of the nature of, of, of his job and how how dangerous it is. Um, you know, at the same time, you know, we're all not overseas. You know, we're all not you know in that position where we may lose our lives. Um, so you know, uh, you know, Rob Easton, uh, Rob's been crossfit a while since he's a four years yeah, now. About four years, yeah. About four yeah. years now. I think I here go. So I'm not overseas. My life is not threatened. But I think the way I prepare my week or my day is just basically planning and execution. And that's where I, I get the mental mental focus and a sense of mental toughness. It's the same way I look at a workout. I look at a workout on the board, and I try to you know I'm. I'm, I'm one of the older athletes around here, so my thing is, is I, I plan, I prepare, and I execute. So I take that in CrossFit, and I take that in my, my professional life as well, whether it's just sitting down to see the tasks at hand during the week, how am I going to task my people out. Um, it takes focus in order for me to be successful at what I do professionally, personally as well, as, as much in the gym. Um, you've got to be prepared for anything, whether it's a financial report or getting shot at or whatever, but it's just uh, proper planning and execution. Forethought and focus. You know, I like that. I, I like these three words: uh, plan, prepare, and execute. And you know, I think everybody has a way of, of breaking it down. Um, you know, however, however they see fit for themselves. Um, you know, I know. Um, I know. Uh, you know, Teresa. Um, you know, her um, her her preparation may be a little differently um, you know, than, than than Mike and Rob's. And maybe uh, maybe Teresa can kind of share on that a little bit. For me. Um Big part of my day, a big part of my uh, my, my life is exercise. So I, I run a lot. I do uh, marathons, and so part of my preparation is every morning my alarm goes up at 3:45 or 4 a.m. and I get up and out the door to go for a run, come in shower, then come to CrossFit, and I have to be mentally. It, it's so easy to hit news and to say I'm not getting up. But as soon as the alarm goes off, mentally I'm up, I'm ready to go. And then as soon as I get all my workouts out of the way, I'm ready to go for the rest of the day. I'm mentally prepared. I know what I'm getting into. I'm focused. Yeah, how many of um, so it, it, that's, that's interesting. You come in, you wake up at 345, go on the road at 4 a.m., hit 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 and run. You know, I think that's um, that's 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 definitely discipline. You know, there's there's certainly a mental discipline that, that has to that has to happen at that time because you know some morning I'm just getting in the house at 4 a.m. you know? <laughs> Um, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> that might be right now. Yeah, I've been like, oh, this guy in a while. Um, how many marathons have you done? Um, how many have you ran? About 15. 15 or 26.2 miles, right? 26.2 plus one and a half marathons. I don't win. I mean, well, five days locally, I can win. So those actually are a little bit more stressful than two of them. I have an expectation for myself, but when I go into a marathon or a half marathon, I want to do better than my last one. So I'm mentally preparing myself to just, what am I getting into, what am I going to do, how am I going to perform, what am I going to do.